Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Anutam here with us, who's recently been placed at App Dynamics as a part of his campus placements at VIT. So he's here to share his interview experience with us. App Dynamics is a full stack application performance and management and IT operations analytics company based in San Francisco. This has been recently acquired by Cisco. And yeah, so let's look at the eligibility criteria before we talk to Anutam. So students from all branches, CSC, ECM and IT with a CGP of 6 or 60% and in the in 10th and 12th as well as the pursuing degree with no standing arrears were eligible for this role. So let's go ahead and talk to Anutam. Hi Anutam, firstly welcome to my channel and congrats on your placement. Hi. So would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So uh, first thing like my name is Anutam and I know it's a pretty weird name for a North Indian boy. Hmm. And uh, so I have been brought and brought up in uh, Delhi. And okay. uh, I have to do my computer science engineering from VID Chennai, uh, batch of 2019. And recently I uh, got an offer from Apps Dynamic. So uh, it's a company by Cisco that was acquired by Cisco. Okay. And uh, uh, previous to that, I have some. Uh, internship experiences with uh, mostly startups. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's okay. That's so, okay. Thank, thank you for that. You can now tell us about the placement process. How many rounds were there, and what they comprised of? Sure. So uh, the first shortlist came. So it was mostly on our uh, background, like uh, CGPA resume. Okay. And I think there were around like eleven hundred or twelve hundred people in the shortlist. Okay. If I remember correctly. Okay. And after that, uh, there was a uh, test, and uh, it was done mainly by on a Cisco side. Hmm. And uh, it was done by Cisco on Hackerland. And uh, there were 15 questions, and uh, there were three questions out of that, and others were MCQs. Okay. And it was a mix of a single choice and multiple choice MCQs. Okay. Uh, if I go on the coding part, uh, the coding questions were around uh, DSA. But they, they were not uh, heavily focused on DSA, but yeah, it was not also easy. Hmm. And uh, if I go on attempting the test, I would say I started with C++, like it was my go-to language. Hmm. But uh, there was some questions which required uh, some quick solution, okay. uh, like some, some helper methods. Okay. So then I uh, went to Python for that, hmm. because Python has a right. for this. Right. Hmm. Uh, the difficulty on questions, uh, like I remember there was one question uh, which had like a one-liner answer. Okay. The formula based you can say. Mm -hmm. And there was a question which was some steady manipulation. Okay. And it, it, it required some uh, code. Mm. Uh, and the other questions were mostly based on DBMS. Okay. Uh, APIs, like networking you can say. Uh, there was nothing from OS if I remember correctly. But uh, one or two questions were from uh, system design. So I won't say mostly OS, but it's like cloud infrastructure and all. Okay, okay. Yeah. So the test went well. Okay. And uh, the, in the shortlist came at around uh, one week. Yeah. Hmm. I don't remember the date correctly, but around one week. Okay. And uh, there were 10 students uh, who got shortlisted. Hmm. So if we compare the probability, so like a pretty low prob probability, it you was know, 10 out of 1100. So. Right, yeah. yeah. And uh, my name was, uh, like the interview list, so my name was on 8, uh, 8 or 9, 1. And uh, next day we had the interviews at uh, 8.30. Okay. So I think the process started at 8.30, like a message in the, and interview happened on Cisco WebEx. Okay. Not on mm. Microsoft Teams, yeah. so they, mm. they wanted to even start. Hmm. And uh, they started calling out names in the group and uh, names of four, hmm. first four persons, four panelists will take the interview. So if you think around, then 8.50 it started, hmm. 8.50 to 9.50 one batch, hmm. and the second batch of four from 9.50 to 10.50, and I got my interview at 10.50, okay. which is the third batch. Hmm. So uh, the first, now coming to the first technical round, hmm. so it was uh, done by... Uh, a developer on their thing. Okay. I'm not sure about it from the SDT side or SD. Hmm. And uh, so she started the interview with introduction. So okay. you know, I just did uh, normal introduction like where I'm from, what, hmm. what experience I have, hmm. and uh, some aspirations. 
hmm. what I want to do. Hmm. Then she moved on to some of my projects uh, in the resume. Okay. So my resume is heavily on internships. I have done like two or three internships. So she was debrief like what you did there and hmm. share your experience and what the company does. And after that, she moved on to my personal projects. Okay. So there was an e-commerce project which I did, uh, Fadman Jordan. Hmm. So it was a business plan. So I explained that what I did uh, in that. Hmm. And I did a college research paper on Kubernetes and orchestra orchestration. Okay. okay. So she asked about that. They were pretty uh, much into this thing, DevOpsing also. Right. So yeah, so they asked about that. Uh, then she moved on to uh, problem solving. Hmm. So there were two questions. First was a pretty deep code type of question. Okay. Uh, not very hard. Hmm. It was like a, a matrix is given uh, hmm. in sorted order. Hmm. You have to. You are given a key. Find if that key exists in the matrix or not. Hmm. Okay. So in the approach, I first went to the naive approach of point square, like okay, we just traverse the matrix in hmm. order. Hmm. Yes, and then I explained to her that now cut down the time complexity. You know, we can first see uh, where uh, the boundary will exist for our key since it's sorted. And then I uh, went through binary search approach. Hmm. So I, I think it, it went in Vigo uh, or uh, endless log. Okay. 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 So yeah, that that was done. It, it was easy. So then she moved on to the second question. Hmm. So, second question was, uh, you are given n, a number n, it represents steps on a staircase. So, you have to, uh, you can maximum go, uh, you can maximum take 10 steps. So, if n is 3, then you can take either 1 step, either 2 step, or either 3 step all along. Hmm. But you just have to cover the staircase. Okay. To find the number of ways, you can. Hmm. So, uh, so, this was the question. So, first I started with some for loop and all, since I was, I got a bit stuck in between, hmm. so then she helped me that think around it, think, think in terms of recursion. When she said recursion, I started uh, building up the base cases. Hmm. So I uh, like, wrote the base cases and we had a pretty good discussion about that. Then she said that uh, maybe think about Fibonacci recursion method. And uh, yeah, after that I was able to solve that. Okay. And it was pretty satisfied, uh, she was pretty satisfied by the solution. Hmm. So then she again moved on to my resume. So she saw that I have done some development in Java. Although my Java was written, uh, like I have uh, done the skills in terms of the order and hmm. like Python, JavaScript was first, and then Java was a bit downside. But then she picked up Java. So she asked me two questions around it, two hoops questions. So one was this different uh, to be overloading and overriding, pretty basic question. And I uh, gave the answer with an example. And the second question was, uh, Difference between local variables and instance variables. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that was done, and she said uh, the round is done, and wait hmm. for your uh, next call. So hmm. I think the round was done around this one hour, maybe eleven fifteen. Hmm. Great. So after that, I uh, got a call, uh, not a call, but my name was mentioned at twelve fifty five. Okay. The next round was at twelve fifty five. Hmm. And uh, in between those, they, they have kept uh, filtering out the students. Like who were not selected, they said that you can leave the speech. Hmm. So, now get the technical interview two rounds. So, the person that came here was a QA. And he had 12 plus years experience in QA. Okay. So, he started again, like, introduced yourself. So, I went on with it and I can start explaining my internship projects. And hmm. Then uh, he started, he picked up one internship and then he said uh, like what was your role and hmm. what technologies you worked on. So I explained like uh, was like Django, Python and hmm. databases and uh, most of the things which I did was API development. So since being a QA, he, he had pretty much experience in uh, what errors we can get in the API right. and, and hmm. uh, what error code should be there. So he uh, built his questions around that like uh, if like what HTTP codes you will send for this uh, purpose, for this purpose, right. the server goes down, then what do you send? So we had a pretty much discussion for around 15 minutes on that. Hmm. Then he uh, said, please uh, show your screen and uh, open a snippet. And he told me to write an API. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, I, I was pretty confident with API, so I have done pretty much uh, work around that. So then I just, you know, asked around like in what language you want, so I have done in Python Django. So he said that. So 
I wrote a function, API function on that, and uh, so uh, it was a scenario I think related to students. So you are finding a student by their class room number or maybe hmm. something like that. So I wrote and I added a trial and error cases also to prevent uh, uh, what do you call downtown downtime. Sorry. Uh, so he was like, uh, if you want a 500 error in this API, how hmm. would you do it? Okay. So I think around that, so I, th I said that if I remove the trial and error, so they, they can make cases when the user doesn't exist and it will hit a server will crash because we don't have a trial and error case. So he was pretty much satisfied in that. And uh, then we, we talked about some filtering methods. So he didn't mind uh, doing it in ORF, Django's ORF instead of uh, basic this. Mm -hmm. So I think around 10 minutes he spent on that. And then he came to a problem solving question. So that was the last thing for the round. And the question was uh, you have a robber who wants to rob an array of houses. Hmm. So there's another array which contains the amount of money in per house. So a uh, robber cannot go from one house to the adjacent one. He has to skip that. So find the maximum amount he can rob. Hmm. So we talked around it. I first uh, used a sorting approach and then we, I thought, and we also discussed it, that it, it won't work since it will disrupt the order. So it, we went to Rikash and then some, some around, somewhere around PP and uh, it was a good experience and then sorted. So okay. this was a pretty short interview round hmm. compared to the first one. So hmm. It started at 12.55 and completed at 1.35. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this was done and uh, so it's said that again, it's for next round. Uh, then the next round happened, I think, pretty late, uh, around 3 o'clock, I think, if I remember correctly. Hmm. So, the person was the director of engineering at App Dynamics. Okay. Uh, maybe Bangalore uh, uh, location. So, but that round wasn't uh, heavily focused on problem solving or DSA. Hmm. It was mainly what the candidate has experience and what he wants to hmm. pursue. Hmm. So, it was a very friendly round, very friendly person. So he went, he, he was seeing my resume and again some talks around the resume Then he talked about what to understand by the role. So SDET role was a pretty much new for me hmm. because I knew it's a bridge between SDE and QA. Hmm. So I said, uh, if you can, you know, give me more context. So he explained for like five minutes, a uh, very good explanation what an SDET is. Hmm. Uh, he he uh, talked about like how it's very similar to SDE, both uh, sits uh, during the early stage of development and as they start developing the test cases and then right. start starting the code. Right. And uh, yeah, so we talked about some, like, what are your hobbies and what you do in your free time. So hmm. I just mentioned about books and music. Hmm. So it was also around like half an hour or 40 minutes round. Nothing technical, but yeah, resume and things. And uh, yeah, so it was done around I think only like 340 or 40. Okay. So this round was done. So uh, three rounds done. So after this, it was HR round, and HR round happened around I think five o'clock. Okay. So uh, yeah. So there were three students who went into HR round out of ten, and the HR was again pretty friendly, and he talked about uh, what do you know about Cisco hmm. as a company. Uh, do you know about any competitors of Cisco? So I just mentioned that it depends on their product. So if you have Cisco WebEx, you have Microsoft Teams. If you have some network devices, then maybe you have companies like AT&T and other network related companies. Right. So at least in Cisco terms, I don't have very much idea in their competitors because it's mostly like a mix of electrical and computer uh, firm. Mm -hmm. So I talked around it and then he talked about like, if you have any questions regarding the role, anything. So I was pretty much clear on the road. I, I read about it uh, beforehand. Hmm. And uh, he also explained a little about the package breakup. And uh, that was a nice start. And then he said that further communication will be done uh, from placement itself. Okay. Hmm. So there was no indication that if anyone is selected. So uh, the finalists from the placement cell came around, I think, 10 o'clock. Okay. So out of three who went to HR round, uh, two were selected. Okay. So one was me and one was another, another guy. Hmm. And he was from I think, for five Okay. And yeah, that, that was the you know, whole day from April to 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 April to
So I am uh, my strong point is more development. Hmm. My, my strong point is not PSA. So uh, I can also say it was a luck factor for me that they also talked about development. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing your experience. Uh, do you have any suggestions that are specific to App Dynamics or anything in general? Uh, yeah. So uh, on the interviews, uh, I would say like talk around, uh, like you know, search around the company and uh, past experiences. Even I did, and I got to know that they ask mix of things. Okay. And it goes with the four rounds. And second thing I would say is, uh, I think people went into four. When they see their friends are getting breaks, yeah. and they, they go for uh, less packages. Like I think some of some of people I I have seen in my college that they were very cap- capable of you know, getting into a very good package, but right. they are like they, they want to get. Hmm. So I would say uh, you know wait. Uh, like my uh, there's a formula which I use which I also you know told my friends is hmm. uh, first see like if you're getting in the into the first shortlist, which hmm. mostly based on your CGPA and resume. If it's difficult, like calculate how many times you got shortlist. Hmm. If it's difficult, then go for a you know uh, medium sized package like twelve LPA to sixteen LPA or lesser than that. Uh, if you are getting shortlisted in the first round, easily hmm. hmm. because CGP is good. Then uh, wait for you know better companies. Like uh, during my time, we got four companies all around. So like Flexcar, I think, which was a startup based in the USA, Udan, uh, App Dynamics, and uh, Visa. Okay. So someone said, "Don't go for Flexcar because it's a subsidiary in India." Hmm. But I did get the list, but I didn't got shortlist. And the Visa was a nice company, of course. Uh, hmm. Their PPO was very great. Hmm. Uh, so I got shortlisted for Air Dynamics, and Udan didn't get the now. Okay. Get the now. So uh, their package were all similar. Hmm. Their package is around twenty to twenty four for all of them. Okay. Yeah. And for now, uh, like it depends company to company what they. Uh, One ask like if you are uh, going for Microsoft or you know big companies, and of course you have to go for these because they want that Amazon, Microsoft. And if you want to go for like companies like Visa and App Dynamics, they uh, ask mixed questions. So I even heard from a friend that Visa asked for system design questions right. and a work around PSA mix of. So depends company to company. If you are eyeing on one company, then go for their interview process. If you are eyeing like okay, anything will work. Uh, package, then you know, get a mix of development experience in college and uh, PSA experience. Okay. Yeah, go for development. Hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing your experience and for your suggestions. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Dean.